नीलातुंगस्तनगिरीतटी सुप्तमुद्बोध्य कृष्ण पारा स्वं श्रुतिशतशिसीमध्यापय स्वोच्छिष्टायां स्रजनी गलित या फला भुंते गोदात नम इदमिद भूय एवास्तु भूय अन्नवयल पुदुवै आंडा अरंगर्क पन्न तिरपावै पलपदीय इन्निशया पाड़ता नर्पा पूमा शूडिकोलू शूडिकुड़े तोलपाई पाड़वल पलबाय नाड़ी वेंगड़वर्क विधियन इम्मा नांगणवा वनमे नल दीज आर दुकेटरी वर्स दट प्री गाडस् आंडा she is referred to in tamil the south indian language as aandal in sanskrit she is referred to as goda devi there are many sanskrit compositions which have been sung as laudatory verses by various preceptors praising aandal's greatness and her contribution to bhakti literature of them Swami Vedanta Deshika's Goda Stuti is the icing. Andar is referred to in these invocatory verses as Sakshat Bhuma Devi. In certain instances, she is referred to as Nila Devi too. Here, the acharyas say that her contribution is the zenith of bhakti. They say. that with her intense love and devotion to the lord she was able to attain the lord and she was able to attain the lord as her very husband andal who was raised as the child of vishnu chitta who is commonly and popularly known as periyalwar in a small hamlet a town called as shrivilliputtur she was raised in this pandian kingdom as the daughter to a man whose entire life was dedicated to devotion and especially bringing beautiful flowers from the nandavanam the garden that he nurtured and he would string a garland a beautiful garland together and would present that to lord vatapatra shai who is the deity in the sanctum sanctorum of shri viliputtur andal during this entire course of having sang tirupavai has imagined herself to be one of the vraja women who lived during the times of krishna why did she sing tirupavai andal from a very young age who was nurtured by periyalwar was fed with the beautiful words of shrimad bhagavatam shri vishnu puranam shrimad ramayanam and shri mahabharatam her mind and heart fell in love with krishna so right from her young age she wanted to marry only krishna so much so that in her other composition called natchiyar tirumuli she states manidavarku emmai pechu padil वागिलेन कंडा मन्मथनी टू सी द फ्रक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर लव टूवर्ड्स कृष्णा शी आस्ट हर फादर वॉट शुड बी डन हर फादर रेफर टू द अर्लियर स्क्रिप्चर्स विच हैव बीन रिवियर्ड बाय ऑल आचार्य एंड सेड द ड्यूरिंग द टाइम्स ऑफ कृष्णा द व्रजा वुमेन हू वॉन्टेड टू मैरी ओब्सर्व अ व्रतम टूवर्ड्स महामायी कात्यायनी कात्यायनी महामाये महायोगिन यदीश्वरी नंदगोपसुतम देवी सो लेट अस ऑब्जर्व दिस वाव और प्लेज टू गॉड एस दुर्गा सो दैट बाय हर बिनाइन ग्रेस वी विल बी एबल टू अटेन लॉर्ड कृष्णा एज आर कॉन्सोर्ट सो दैट वाज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द व्रतम but andal who wanted to follow the footsteps of her predecessors melayar shaivanagal venduvena ketiyel also wanted to be a paramai kanti so she thought instead of requesting ma durga katyayani why don't i approach lord krishna directly
Why don't I approach him with the aid of my fellow Bhagavatas, my friends? Why don't we go as a group, observe the vow every morning during, during the Dhanur Masam? So then she began this Vratam. In Tamil, it is called Pavai Nombu. Nombu means Vratam. And this Vratam is called Pavai Nombu. And this roughly lasts for one month during the Dhanur Masam, Margasirsha Masam. Or in Tamil, it is called Margali. So during the entire course of 30 days, she wanted to exhibit her love to the God using beautiful words. She didn't want flowers. Her words were the flowers. Shengalini Malligayod Iruvachi tells her father while listing the flowers. For her, her words were the flowers. So as she wanted to observe the vow, to very feel the effect of being a Vrajastri, she taught herself to a Vrajastri. Despite being the daughter of a Vedic scholar, she imagined herself to be of the Vaishya community. She imagined the Sri Viliputtur town to be Gokulam, Ayarpadi. She imagined the house of Nandagopala, Resting in the sanctum sanctorum of Vatapatrashai and the Lord in Archavatara who is Vatapatrashai as Lord Krishna himself. So she ended up singing these 30 verses called or compiled together as Tiruppavai. Tiruppavai is referred to as the very quintessence of Vedam. Vedam anaitirkum vittagum kodai tamil is a line. And over and above it, it is also said to bring the essence of the other prabandhams like Tiruvayamuri, Periya Tirumuri, Tirumadal, which is of two types, Periya and Shiriya, and the works of the Mudal Alvar, Tirumanishay Alvar, Periya Alvar, of course, Kulashekhar Alvar. So, Andal's prabandham of 30 Pasurams is indeed regarded and opined by many Acharyas as the very quintessence of the remaining 3,970 Pasurams. During this month, we will have the opportunity to discuss briefly the essence of each of the Pasurams. Margari Tingal Madinirainda Nannalal Nirada Podhuvir Podhumino Neridair Sirmalgum Aipadi Chelva Chirumirgal Kurvel Kudunturilan Nandakopan Kumaran Yerar and the Kanni Ashodai Ulam Shingam Kar Meni Shenkan Kadirmadiyam Pol Muhattan Narayanani Namake Paritaruvan Paror Pugada Padindelo Rimpavai In these set of thirty Pasurams the commentators, the Vyakhyatas, have immensely experienced, internalized and produced their wonderful bhakti-laden experiences in the form of commentaries. All the Acharyas opine that of the 30 Pasurams, the first five is the introduction. Pasuram 6 to Pasuram 15 is where she sings a Suprabhatam, a Tirupalli Yaluchi to her fellow Bhagavatas. Pasuram 16 is where she pays her obeisances to the watchmen of Krishna's house. Pasuram 17 is where she offers her respects to Krishna's mother Yashoda, father Nandagopa, brother Balarama. Pasuram 18, 19 and 20, three Pasurams together, she intends to seek the grace and recommendation of Krishna's beloved called Nappinnai or Nila Devi. Pasuram 21 to 25, she invokes Lord Krishna's blessings directly. In the 26th Pasuram, she gets to witness or have a glimpse of Krishna. She continues her experience of seeing Krishna in Pasuram 27, 28 and 29. And in Pasuram 30, she attains her original state of being the daughter of Periyarvar and says that this is the fruit or phalam for those who recite Tirupavai with intense devotion. In the first Pasuram, she says, 
மார்கழி திங்கள் மதி நிறைந்த நன்னாளால் திஸ் மந்த் ஆஃப் மார்கழி இஸ் தட் விச் பிரிங்ஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் நாலேஜ் அமங்ஸ் த பிராக்டிஷனர்ஸ் மதி நிறைந்த நன்னாளால் நன்னாள் ஆல் இன் தமிழ் ஆல் மீன்ஸ் வித் சர்பிரைஸ் ஓ திஸ் மந்த் திஸ் இஸ் சோ ஆஸ்பிஷியஸ் நீராட போதுவீர் ஆண்டால் டெல்ஸ் அர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு டேக் பாத் ஐ சப்போஸ் யூ ஆர் ஆல்சோ கோயிங் டு டேக் பாத் வை டோன்ட் யூ கம் வித் மீ நேரிழையீர் those who are adorned with beautiful ornaments here interestingly she calls friends of her age group with respect in most of our languages be it in hindi abe yaar ye nokano in kannada enda in tamil yemra telugu so whichever language amongst friends we don't use respectful words but here is a girl who says nerilayir neeraada poduveer the commentator asks why he tells since she has taken a vow to observe in devotion to krishna while you are in devotion all people around you irrespective of age gender caste creed need to be given respect so she tells neerada poduveer podumino nerilayir then she tells where are we seermalgum ai paadi ai paadi means gokulam because gokulam was a village dedicated to grazing rearing nurturing cows because dairy farming was their major source of income so go is pashu cattle like kulam is community so their entire lives depended on the cows and the calves in tamil it is called ai paadi seermalgum ai paadi andal tells this is just not a simple gokulam not a simple ai paadi it is a very very prosperous ai paadi seermalgu mai paadi selva chirumeergal oh the little ones koorvel kodun tholilan so whom are we going to now see we are going to end up seeing krishna's father who has raised him who is nandagopa so koorvel kodun tholilan he is the one who keeps sharpening the spear immediately the commentator asks why should nanda gopa who is engaged in dairy farming sharpen his spear to which he says because krishna's birth and ever since krishna's birth every object that was seen in gokulam happened to be a demon so the father was so afraid and petrified that some harm will be meted to the son he ended up seeing a small black ant which was coming towards his son and he thought this black ant could be an asura to kill that black ant he used a spear who is he nandagopan and who is krishna to nandagopa kumaran he is the young lad of nandagopa eraranda kanni who is krishna's mother krishna's mother is yashoda how are her eyes eraranda kanni her eyes are so beautiful they look like the beautiful petals of a lotus kanjadalayata akshi says dikshitar so here he says eraranda kanni beautiful eyes yashodai her name elam shingam so krishna is the young cub lion's child the cub he is like the cub as valorous as courageous as powerful as the cub eraranda kanni yashodai elam shingam how is his hue carmeni he looks like the dark rain bearing clouds carmeni how are his eyes tasya yatha kapyasam pundarikam eva makshini tells chandogya upanishad it looks gambhiramba samudbhuta sumrishtanaala ravikara vikasita pundarika dala amala ayate kshana ha tells bhagavad ramanuja tirpanaalvar tells kadiyavagi pudai parandu milirundu shabvariyodi nindava periyavaya kangal aalvar tells anaitulagum tholum aravindalochanan so his eyes are like that lotus who which blooms upon receiving the rays of the sun when it is associated with the long stalk where there are river uh, waters that are cool enough in the pond so he tells karmeni shankan how are his eyes represented in the upanishads kadir madiyam they look like the light giving sun and moon chandra surya ucha netre chandra surya nayana prameya vagindra janaka sakalesha shubhra nagendra shayana shamana bhairi sannuta kadir madiyam pol mugattan who is the one who is now the child that we are speaking about narayanane the one who has chetana and achetana as his body narayanane 
who is he the one who bestows moksham parai taruvan to whom will he bestow moksham namakke to the jeevatma is he the only one who bestows moksham yes narayanane it is only him will he bestow moksham to the jeevatma namakke parai taruvan parai is incidentally a musical instrument as well as equated to moksham paror those who are living around me Magundelor and Baba, let us all join together and sing His praises. Is the essence of Pasuram one. Ah, ah. Oh, 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 oh,